Hi, Mauro. Tab. How are we doing? So we are talking uh, painter's tape, which is a little bit of a misnomer, I would think, because it seems like painters, professionals at least, rarely use it, and homeowners are the ones who grab Very it. Very rarely, yes. Do you use this stuff? I use when I need it. If, let's say I'm doing a whole room, I don't mask anything. You don't? No, because we're going to be painting ceilings, walls, and trim. We're going to do the whole thing. So I can overlap paint on the ceiling, trim, and walls. So this way, I don't mask anything. When do you use it? When I have a small project that, you know, I'm not doing all part of it, then I, if I have like a fireplace, if I have something like the baseboard we're not painting, yep. those are the areas we're starting to mask and protect. All right, so it's interesting you call it masking, um, presumably coming from masking tape. Do you use that stuff? A lot of people in homeowners think this is the way to go, yeah. all right? Uh, but this paint is only good for one day. It has a very high adhesion. It's not recommended for a painted surface. You don't want this for painted at all? You don't want that. All right, well, that's okay because obviously we've got a lot of options um, in terms of painter's tape. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? We right got here? two different grades here. We have exterior grade, which is a specific for exterior surface. It says it right on the label. That is a very high adhesion. Even that. has that labeled as well. There's a little grid right here, and this guy's the highest. So well, that makes sense to me, right? You, right. It's going to have to withstand the weather, different surfaces. High adhesion is high good. High adhesion is also waterproof paint. Oh, okay. So that would be for the exterior. That's interior. The exterior. Here we have like a few options here. Yeah, you got a salad bar right here. <laughs> Do the colors? <laughs> matter? Do they tell us anything? Different color, different manufacturer. That's all it is. That's it? That's it. So different colors doesn't mean different levels of performance. Okay, um, so blue and green could perform the same way. They're just made by different companies. Different companies. All and right, what are the levels interior that I'm looking oh, at? Oh, the interior, the most popular ones is the medium adhesion. Medium adhesion. Medium, which is this one here. Again, there's a chart on this one, um, and it says it right there yep. that that is medium. Um, so that's going to, meaning what? Adhesion means how many days it's going to stay up? It's, it means how many days it's going to stay up and uh, it's the, for different surface, meaning you gotcha. know, less adhesion, the better. Okay. Okay. And what then have we have there? the yellow one, which is very low adhesion. Oh. Really recommended. Let's say we paint a room with this very fancy wallpaper and we're not touching it. Okay. So that's the area where we paint the ceiling, when we paint the trim. This is the one we go for. All right, so depending on what you're going for, pick the right tape. Okay. So let's talk technique. Technique. Try to get as long as you can. We'll say about 18, 24 inches. Mm -hmm. Just go along the baseboard because we are not painting the baseboard. And then just gentle, press the edges of the tape so we make sure the paint won't bleed underneath the paper's edge. So you are just pressing the edge in this case, just letting the rest the of it just edge. hang free. Just, just hanging out. All right, just go gentle. Make sure that the line, it covers just the baseboard. I don't want to see paint, this tape, hitting the walls, because we're going to paint the walls. Okay, I'm going to tear it right there. Right there. So once it is on, your technique for painting, you're still going to, you know, you're just going to slop right over it because you've got protection? Not really, Gavin. You're still following up with the same technique. Just lightly cut, just hit the edges as minimal as possible. So still trying to make a straight line. Straight still line. Being... Same technique, like you say, you don't have any tape on it. Okay. How long do you let it sit there before you take it off? I usually take, I usually leave it on for 25 to 30 minutes. As soon as I see the paint is dry, pulls right off. So not two or three days later. No, that's the last time in, the last chance to have any damage on the surface. And your process for taking it off? Just get gentle, just get like a, a, the top tip of the tape and give it like a 45 angle. You're pulling it away from pulling the wall. Pulling it away from the wall. This way, that will help you to keep the straight, clean line. At yep. the same time, you won't have any damage to your wall. Love it. All right, Mauro. Well, I appreciate the information and the tips on the technique. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.